We've been getting some great Mercedes over the past couple of weeks, and this is definitely one of those cars. It's Zircon silver in colour, and it's a 2003 Mercedes-Benz S350. It's the first of the newer series with a 3.7 litre V6 engine. It's done just 98,000 kilometres from new, and I say just 98,000 kilometres because if you look online you'll find a lot of them have done 150, 200, 250,000 kilometres, and the list goes on. We just sold an S350 recently with 300,000 kilometres. And we, I believe we sold it to a, a hire car company who's probably going to put another 200,000 kilometres on the car. So Mercedes-Benz are capable of big kilometres if they're looked after, especially the S-Class. They really are built to last. This has got the very reliable 5-speed automatic transmission coupled with the 3.7 litre V6 which is also used in the Mercedes-Benz ML series at the time. It's totally standard, it's got light grey leather interior, wood grain, memory electric seats, navigation, it's got the Tiptronic gearbox. The car generally speaking is in very good condition. You can see in the photos in this video here. It's got front and rear parking sensors. It's got log books, six stack of CD in the back. There's your spare wheel. I've had at least two of these S350s. I've had one from the same year and I had one from 2004 myself. And the reason why I've had a couple of them is that it's, it's very, very hard to find a car for this sort of money, which is economical, reliable, safe. I do a lot of work in the car, and for me it is a benefit having soundproof glass or double glazing I should say it's not completely soundproof but if a plane were to fly overhead right now if I got in the car and closed the door you certainly wouldn't hear it I also really enjoy driving and I do a lot of driving on the freeway and you can't get much more comfortable than an S-Class Mercedes-Benz the headlights are in very good condition it's a car which we believe has been garaged. Surprisingly, the fuel consumption, even around towns, around 14 litres per 100 k's, 15 litres per 100 k's, which isn't too bad for a car which weighs nearly two tonnes. It was over $200,000 new. And the best thing about these Mercedes is they're built to last. I think we've all seen a number of older Mercedes from the 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s on the roads. The timber work is excellent and if well looked after this is a car you can keep for 10, 15, 10 or 15 years, 20 years. If you keep looking after the car it'll keep going. The other good thing about this 3.7 litre engine is it, it sounds fantastic. It's got plenty of torque just open up the bonnet. So it's nice and clean in here as well. There's also people who are maybe in their 60s or, or so and they've retired. They've had a number of company cars and they just want a nice, big, comfortable sedan like this one which they can buy for around twenty to $25,000 and not spend a great deal of money on maintenance. With these cars, probably the only things you'd really spend money on are they don't have a timing belt, they've got a timing chain. It's just your fluids, oils, gearbox fluid, brake fluid, etc. And it does have air pneumatic suspension. So at the click of a button, you can the car can go up by a couple of inches so if you're driving into a steep driveway 
you can actually press that button so you don't scrape the front of the car. Or if you're driving around with four passengers, the car is self-leveling, so it'll always the car will always be flat. You know, you see cars drive around sometimes. It looks like they've got a whole lot of cement in the boot or something like that. You will not see an S-Class Mercedes Benz doing that. So it's down the track sometimes you may have to replace something with the suspension, whether it be a compressor or a shock absorber or something. But uh, they're easily changeable, available. And if you've got a really good mechanic, they're not expensive to keep on the road. We've been looking for an S-Class like this one with under 100,000 kilometres for a while. And when this came up, we really just had to have it. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We are the Old Timer Centre. We're located in Marrickville in Sydney. And we look forward to...